In February, we commenced works relocating the workshop as stage one of the compound relocation. Um, stage two was relocating the office staff, which commenced uh, mid to late March. And in the more recent weeks, we've been uh, relocating the building behind me. It, this is the fifth time this building has been moved on multiple projects. It's one of the biggest site offices that's going around. The new compound should cater for about 200 staff, including client. Once all the crib huts are installed, there will be capacity for 300 workforce, uh, not including the workshop where they have their own little compound. Recently, we're finishing the portion two areas off, which is the runways, the, the taxiways areas. We've done 760,000 squares of ceiling and over a million squares of trimming. Works have progressed significantly within the last month of the project, with in-ground services and slab on ground works progressing in the north and nearing completion in the south. In terms of the cores, uh, we are nearing our second and third core for the southern cores, and we are building the jump form and installing cladding in the northern cores. In total, we've, in, we've laid approximately 13,500 metres squared of void former, and we've poured 11,500 metres cubed of concrete across the project. We have also poured two portions of the retaining wall in the basement, with works currently underway for the next two pours, and we are currently forming our first pour for the suspended slab ground floor. What we're doing out here is painting some geoglyphs. Um, so what a geoglyph is, is a, an artwork that's best viewed from the sky and what we're painting is um, some Aboriginal symbols where we're recreating some artwork that was in WSACO's Reconciliation Action Plan. And us painting it is, I guess, a sign of our support for the rollout of the Reconciliation Action Plan 